today as you already saw in the title of this video i'm going to be doing the battle of the matte lipsticks i'm going to be testing the dose of colors matte lipstick formula and the persona cosmetics matte lipstick formula So right now, in here, I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I do to determine and tell you, you know, if a matte lipstick is good or is bad. So let's go ahead and begin with this battle of the matte lipsticks between Dose of Colors and Persona Cosmetics. I've already cleaned up my lips uh, with my coconut oil. I went ahead and grabbed some so I can take some of the lipstick that I have on. And right now, as you can see, it's clean. I don't have anything but the lipstick that I had before, those two actually stain my lips. So the first lipstick I'm going to use to test, you know, and see how many layers it can actually go on my lips is going to be the Persona Cosmetics. And the way how I actually test whether a matte lipstick formula is good is by applying layers after layers of the matte lipstick in my lips. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the first layer in my lips and then I'm going to put my lips together like this. I'm gonna rub them and then if it's a bad formula of course the formula is gonna break you're gonna see chunks of lipstick falling off in my lips and then once you rub if the formula or the lipstick ends up falling apart of course then the lipstick is not worth your pennies or your money especially if it was a very expensive matte lipstick okay so I'm gonna do that for the first layer and I'm gonna do that again with the second one the third one and I'm gonna see how many layers can this Persona Cosmetic lipstick go before it starts actually breaking apart or looking chunky into my lips so let's begin with the first layer there it goes it doesn't have to be perfect I'm not gonna try to be perfect in the way how I apply in my lips So that's the first layer. I'm going to wait for it to dry. Another thing you want to do when you're testing your matte lipstick is that once you apply it and it has a dry, you want to go ahead and smile. Okay, so I'm not going to smile right now, but you want to go ahead and do your big normal smile that you will, you know, when you are smiling to someone. Because what you want to do is you want to make sure that once you smile, you know, if the formula is bad for the lipstick, what's going to happen is going to create those lip lines, right? And then you're going to feel like uh, your lips very dry and that uh, the lipstick formula is like almost like falling apart if you were to actually rub your lips. So that's the testing you also have to do to determine whether or not, you know, the lipstick formula is a good formula or not. So I'm going to wait for this formula to actually dry before I rub my lips, before I smile. So let's see. I think it has already dry. I might speed up the video so you guys just can see all the layers at a fast pace because I think this video is going to be long and I don't want it to be that long. So there it goes. It has dry. I'm going to rub my lips. But before I do, remember we're going to wet our lips with our tongue. Now I'm going to rub. You rub like five or ten times or eight. As you can see, the lipstick hasn't come off. It's still there. If I do it again, it's still there. So, number one, a pass. A lipstick that you end up buying, it doesn't pass the first test. It's not worth your five or eight bucks. At least if it costs you five dollars, it needs to be able to pass the first test of you rubbing your lips. In this case, Persona Cosmetics has passed the first layer. So now, I'm going to do the second layer. There it goes. So that's the second layer. And one of the things that I love about Persona Cosmetics Formula is the first layer and the second layer. Right now, I can feel it. It feels very light. It feels like if it was your own lips. Like you don't have any lipstick or at all. You know, or matte lipstick, whatever. You don't have anything on your lips. I love it. So, right now, 
it seems to be drying and I'm about to ready to do the second test and let's see and then we put this to dry okay it has dried so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna smile all right and now I'm gonna rub again this with our lips and rub mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's still there as you can see I don't know if you guys can see let me try to zoom on my lens it's still going strong it's still going strong wow okay so now layer number three for persona cosmetics layer number three this is my favorite lipstick the holy grail i've been obsessed with this using it every single day if you go into my instagram account uh, so chica view and there you'll be able to see a lot of red lipstick is because i'm always wearing this holy grail so let's see third layer here it goes Here it goes, that's the third layer. Oh my god, my fingers are dirty. Okay, so that's the third layer. Ooh. Anyways, that's the third layer. <clears throat> Number three. Okay, so it has dry. I'm gonna go ahead and smile and do it again. Mm -mm. Still going strong. It's still stuck. It's still in good form into my lips. It hasn't done any patchiness or you know loss is balanced into my lips it still looks good in my lips layer number four there it goes layer number four okay okay so this is layer number four it has already dried my lips I'm gonna go ahead and smile and now I can feel that my lips feel a little bit more thick compared to the first and second layer and third layer I feel a little bit more thick so I'm gonna smile and I still feel my lips good even though I smile I don't feel like the formula is gonna break so now I'm going to go ahead and wet my lips with my tongue and then rub them mm -mm. you see the formula is still going strong in my lips it hasn't break my teeth have become dirty now but hmm, it still looks good in my lips it still looks wearable this is the first fourth layer so now we're going into round five five not four five so round five Okay, that's layer five. Oof. Okay, so.
So if you were to retouch your lips by applying the second layer, third layer, fourth layer, your lips will still look good, as you can see. Um, they will feel thicker though, because I do feel my lips now thicker with a bunch of um, lip lipstick or matte lipstick on it. Uh -huh. But I think now it has the formula dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and smile like I normally will. Now I'm going to wet my lips and do the testing. Mm -mm. You see that? Nothing. The lipstick still looks good in my lips. It, they just look like um, that uh, lip pencil that um, it used to be wear back then, you know, when people used to line their lips with uh, those pencils and um, like Selena type of lipstick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's still there. So, this is round number six. Wow. Round number six, let's see. I'm gonna have a stick around my hand. There you go. Round number six. I hope the camera is really capturing how this lipstick still looks good on my lips, even though with six layers. So this is round number six. Okay, now the lipstick has dried. Let's go ahead and do the test again. Nope. Can you see it? The lipstick is still not falling off. It's still sticking into my lips. We're going for round number seven. Round number seven. Round number seven. Persona Cosmetics. If you haven't bought the lipstick, it's the bomb. Here it goes. Round number seven. I can tell you that my lips now feel super chunky, meaning heavy up matte lipstick. Sorry for the dirtiness of my teeth, but we're doing a testing. All right. So it has already dry. I'm going to go ahead now and do the testing again. Smile with the lips rub. Now you can see I will call it now. It has completely um, I don't know if you guys can tell in here now I would say it has completely now got to its limit which is seven layers um, but you can see here I don't know if you guys can see there's like uh, now balls there and now the lipstick looks all clumsy now and messy. So it took seven rounds for um, 
a retouch up of uh, the Holy Grail Personac matte lipstick uh, brand to actually be able to start looking not so pretty into my lips. It took seven rounds. So let's see if those colors can meet or surpass those seven layers of lipstick. Let me remove with my coconut oil. Always remove with your coconut oil any matte lipstick so that way you won't hurt your lips. Okay, so I have removed finally um, Persona Cosmetics Holy Grail Matte Lipstick out of my lips. As you can see, I have nothing. Now I'm going to go ahead and test that uh, Pinky Promise from Dosa Colors. And let's see if Dosa Colors can actually um, surpass or get to the seven layers of a lipstick like the Persona Cosmetics Holy Grail lipstick did. So here it goes, the first layer. I hope my camera doesn't die because I have a little bit of uh, battery now left. Uh, let's see. There it goes. That's the first layer. Gonna wait for it to dry. Okay, so the first layer is done. It's dry. I'm gonna go ahead and smile. Wet my lips, rub them, and as you can see, nothing happened. The matte lipstick from Dosa Colors is still holding on. Let's go ahead and then do the second layer. There it goes. Second layer. Okay, so the second layer has dry. Let's go ahead and do the second test. still holding on. I hope you guys can see. hope my camera is capturing. It's still holding on. It hasn't broken apart. You don't see any uh, you know pieces of, of lipstick falling apart. Mm -mm. So third layer for those are colors. There you go. Okay, so the third layer has dry, smile, wet lips, rub lips. Here you go still holding on very good those are colors very good let me grab my mirror nope it's still holding on so four layer of those are colors There you go. Four layer. Dry. Okay, so this is the fourth layer. It has finally dry. I'm going to go ahead and do the testing. Smile. Wet the lips. Rub the lips. Um. 
Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, there you see it. Those are colors is starting to actually break apart and layer number four, but I think it's still good to go into layer number five. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. Now the lips are not looking pretty no more. You can see it kind of clumsy. And the formula looks very tacky now on my uh, lips. So I'll say those are colors can only go up to level number four of reapplying your matte lipstick into your lips. I'm going to go ahead and try a fifth layer just because the lipstick is still hanging on just like those uh, like sorry like Persona Cosmetics. The lipstick is not falling off. It's still on until the lips is still there. The thing is is because of the layers now it became clumsy but it's not falling apart when you rub your lips so this is still a good formula and um, I think I'm gonna give it a fifth layer just to see exactly how it performs but it only reaches up to layer number four so let's see a fifth layer what will happen There it goes, layer number five. Let's wait for this to dry. I hope my camera can make justice and actually capture the lipstick. But in here you can see that the formula, the lipstick, doesn't look that pretty no more in my lips. You can see it looks very clumsy. So if you were to retouch up four to five times, especially at least in this color, in the Pinky Promise, your touch up that wouldn't look that pretty no more. It will look very messy, your lipstick. Whereas in the Persona Cosmetics for the Holy Grail, uh, your lipstick still looks good in the fifth, sixth layer. The only time it starts looking bad is in the seventh layer. Okay, so my lips are dry. I'm going to go ahead and smile. And I'm going to go ahead and rub my lips now. This is the fifth layer of Dosa Colors Pinky Promise. And here we go. I don't know if you guys can tell if I smile that the lipstick doesn't look pretty anymore in my lips. Yeah, it looks chunky it looks already tear apart so basically those are colors can only be retouch up in your lips one to three times the fourth time it will actually start looking bad so you have to remove it and reapply again from level one and the winner of course is persona the holy grail matte lipstick this lipstick went up to seven layers of application six to seven layers of application before it started looking like this so persona congratulations sona you did an excellent job in creating this matte lipstick formula as you already saw i tested it against those colors and your lipstick became the winner so for those who actually want to know how they can test a matte lipstick formula and determine if it's worth your money this is a way how you can actually test your lipsticks by actually applying them smiling wetting them with your tongue a little bit and then rubbing your lips against one another and try to see if the lipstick will tear apart if it doesn't if it passed for the first time then you have made a decent purchase but if the lipstick actually goes up to four layers or three layers of application, it is still a good formula. But if it goes beyond that, like Persona Cosmetics matte lipstick, which went up to six to seven layers of application before it started looking clumsy, then that is an excellent formula of a matte lipstick and obviously is worth every penny. 
Those are colors. It's also still a good formula as you saw. It um, will only last up to three applications before it starts looking like this. But, I mean, it's still a good formula. It doesn't break apart at the first uh, application or second application. It starts breaking apart at the fourth and fifth application. So, there you have it, folks. I hope that this tip of how to actually test your matte lipsticks and to come with your own conclusion whether or not the pennies you're spending on those expensive products are worth is actually useful so if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe like always remember that in this channel i also upload tutorials on how to do makeup i also upload application tutorials dream videos and obviously um product reviews like the ones that you just saw and if you actually like this content i hope you subscribe and um so if you have any questions regarding to anything please go ahead and leave it in, this, uh, in the comment section below and i'll be seeing you into my next video with another product review or another battle of the matte lipsticks see you until then thank you bye bye